ATM. An automated teller machine or ATM is a computerized telecommunication device that provides the customers of a financial institution with access to financial transactions in a public space without the need for a human clerk or bank teller. John Adrian Shepard, Baron of Dira Rio, developed the first electronic ATM, which was installed first in Enfield Town in North London, United Kingdom, on 27th June 1967 by Barclays Bank. An ATM is simply a data terminal with two input and four output devices. Card Reader The card reader captures the account information stored on the magnetic stripe on the back of an ATM debit card or credit card. The host processor uses this information to route the transaction to the cardholder's bank. Keypad. The keypad lets the cardholder tell the bank what kind of transaction is required and for what amount. Also, the bank requires the cardholder's personal identification number for verification. Output Devices. Speaker. The speaker provides the cardholder with auditory feedback when a key is pressed. Display Screen. The display screen prompts the cardholder through each step of the transaction process. Leased line machines commonly use a monochrome or color CRT display. Dial-up machines commonly use a monochrome or color LCD. Received printer. The received printer provides the cardholder with the paper received of the transaction. Cash dispenser. The heart of an ATM is the safe and cash dispensing mechanism. The entire bottom portion of most small ATMs is a safe that contains the cash. Like any other data terminal, the ATM has to connect to and communicate through a host processor. The host processor is analogous to an internet service provider in that it is the gateway through which all the various ATM networks become available to the card holder. Most host processors can support either leased line or dial-up machines. Leased line machines connect directly to the host processor through a four-wire point-to-point and dedicated telephone line. Dial-up ATMs connect to the host processor through a normal phone line using a modem and a toll-free number or through an internet service provider using a local access number dialed by modem. The host processor may be owned by a bank or financial institution or it may be owned by an independent service provider.